My clock looking like the top of the hour. Y'all ready to do it? K W O Z. Oh, sure. yeah, anytime you are. Hello, Dan. KM5 QS. Am I still in the ballpark in terms of frequency? Yes, sir. Yeah, go for it, Lynn. All right. All right. Good evening, folks. This is K5LYN. My name's Lynn. And uh, let me just reach over here and tune my carrier just a minute. Okay. It won't stay gone, but that's a little bit better. We get together here on Wednesday evenings and talk about the early days of single side band. A lot of vacuum tube radios are heard here. I happen to be on uh, a combination of very vintage radios. The VFO for this uh, exciter is a Collins 310B from the year 1947 or 1948. Uh, that's uh, Collins' first uh, permeability tuned oscillator. And uh, I'm using it to be the VFO for a Heath kit sideband adapter called the SB10. That's from the year 1959. And uh, that SB10 I used to adapt a, a Heath kit DX60, a novice rig, to single sideband. And that's driving a Collins 30L1 to uh, close to 600 watts tonight. So we'll see how it goes. Let me just take a uh, break here for a minute and say something about the passing of WJ5EMS Jim, who has been one of our charter members. I believe we lost him this past week. He's uh, crossed over to a better place. Can we have it uh, silent here for just a moment? Thank you, Jim, for having been with us all that time. We'll miss you. All right. Um, uh, let me see here. Buy-sell trades are welcome if they're vintage radio related, and this is a good place to ask uh, for technical advice if you're working on a radio. Uh, two or three of us that are uh, here to be net controls, I'll take a shift. I'll give it to Jay. Jay can give it to Rusty, and we'll go around the table. And I don't know who all is here early except for maybe Dan. So, Dan, you want to tell us about it? How about it? K-8-W-O-Z, K-5-L-Y-N. Wow. I think I was the last one around here. Good evening, Lynn. And Jay and everybody else that's running a boat anchor or shipwreck, as Keith calls it. Uh, this is Dan in Houston, and it's a little chilly out there tonight. Talking on that same old Heath Kid HW100 and uh, driving a homebrew uh, 4 400 a uh, amplifier single tube. The antenna is a uh, two-band bazooka up there, about 35 feet. I'm hoping to get that corrected here in the next five days. We'll see. But uh, that's about it from here. Uh, back to you, uh, Lynn. K5LYN, KWOZ. Hey, Dan, straighten me out here. I think it met the audio I was, the, the rig I was complaining about, the audio. Uh, it, it's really good tonight. Uh, I changed microphone. Well, actually, I put a... Uh, I don't know if it's the same microphone I had on here before, but I put a, a muffle over it, <laughs> so that may have helped some. Well, it's real nice. It's got it's got good crisp audio. Uh, you know, it's really nice to listen to. Very well done. Anything else for the net tonight? No, that's it. Uh, sorry to hear about Jim earlier in the week there. Uh, he was a nice fella. Yeah. Uh, somebody, I doubled with somebody. Who passed? WJ5MS, Jim. All right, thanks. Back to Nick. Okay, Bob Bill Weil, I'm here. Okay, all right, Todd. We'll pick you up here in just a minute. All right, uh, very good, Dan. Nicely done. Well, Todd, you want to go ahead and talk to us? Uh, you're there. Pick it up. Sure, I'll take a round. <clears throat> it's KA5LYL, Todd. Corpus Christi. Uh, <clears throat> let's see here. My station equipment tonight. Sorry about that. There we go. My station equipment tonight is a Kenwood TS520, uh, the first, excuse me, the first uh, generation, no S or SE. Uh, let's see. I'm running it barefoot. Well, I should say maybe some more appropriate, more appropriate rig power. Um, let's see. That's uh, just a little over 100 watts. Um, let's see. The microphone of choice tonight. Is an static D104. An, uh, I think it's an older amplified D104 from what the oh what the <clears throat> the pot is in the bottom of the mic that you use in the base, which you use to uh, to adjust the level. It just looks like the old one of the older ones. So uh, that's good. I like the element a little better. Um, let's see, an SP820 Kenwood speaker, <clears throat> but I'm 
passing it through an audio system. Uh, let's see. And then I have an external DSP box on the receive, and it works very well for uh, reducing the noise, and uh, it's got an auto, auto notch feature and lets me uh, kill the heterodynes when I get them in here. Works quite well. Sure does. This is, a, this is one of the greatest ways to play old radios. Put one of these external DSP boxes uh, on the receive. That way they're a little more practical. And anyway, that's all we have. Uh, oh, into an off-center fed dipole about mm, about 40 feet at the feed point. Four zero feet at the feed point. That's my claim to fame. Back to net. KA5 LYL. Okay, very good, Todd. All right, who else for the net tonight? K5LYN calling and listening. Which is five India calling and <laughs> Okay, I got IGG. Hey, Adolph, talk to us. Yeah, good afternoon to you, Lynn. Thank you for picking me up. <clears throat> We're operating all heat kit tonight. The uh, the receivers in SB301, the transmitters in SB400, the amplifiers in SB200. We're looking at our signal on the SB610, and we're keeping time with an SB630. So it's all heat kit, D104 microphone, and an inverted V at about 30 feet. So that's the station tonight. Uh, over to you. Hey, you've got a room full of radios these days. You've got the Drake, and you've got a bunch of other stuff. Have we heard that heat kit before? I, you know, I've, I've had this rig for quite a while. Uh, but I operate different rigs on different bands, so I just decided to put this one on 80 and uh, try it out. Key down just a minute and don't talk, will you? Well, I can hear just a little bit of hum, Adolph, and I can't decide if it's on your station or not. You might check it out and see if you hear any uh, hum there locally. It is. Well, I can see the hum on my scope, Lynn. Okay, yeah, yeah. We, we kind of think it's on your signal, but you don't see it on the scope? I do see it on the scope. Okay, all right. So do you know about it? Where do you think it might be coming from? I think it's coming from the transmitter. Okay, all right. Well, I just thought I'd let you know. We could hear a little bit, but uh, it could have been from something else, you know. But uh, all right, well, uh, that's why we're here, to work on these radios, and you're on top of it. Very good. Well, anyway, that's all I have. Uh, so thank you for picking me up, and thank you for being out there. K5LYN, this is WA5IGG, back to net. Very good. Great to hear you. All right. Who else for the net? K5LYN calling and listening. Oscar, Oscar. Oscar, Oscar, talk to us. Uh, Roger, Roger. It's Mike, Southwest Travis County. I'm uh, running a set of uh, R uh, B line tonight on the Drake, R4B and T4XB. And uh, they're going into the pair of 4 400s, running about five or 600. Well, it looks like about 700 watts right now. I don't have it. Cranked up all the way tonight. Uh, just wanted to be able to check into the net. I haven't checked in in a few weeks. Um, going out to an uh, 80 meter horizontal loop. Um, I can hear everybody very well tonight. Uh, KI 500, back to you, Lynn. Yeah, the band is great. Mike, remind me about what's the deal on the 4400s? If, if I, I guess I've heard it before, but I've forgotten what the deal is on that. Uh, you remember that picture I sent you of that uh, amplifier? Oh, yeah, okay. That's, that's the amplifier I'm running tonight. Okay. <laughs> I've got four 400s around here I need to be doing something with. They're great tubes. They're doing a nice job for you. Roger, Roger. I appreciate it. Okay, I five, oh, back to net. We're going to see you at Belton in a couple of weeks? Uh, you bet. All right, I'll be out there in the parking lot. Okay, I heard somebody else. Who was the other check-in same time Mike came in? K5LYN. W5CS. Christy Bravo 5 Lima. Okay, I got T.S. and Lima. T.S., talk to me, Scott. Hey, Liz. Uh, I had six-year advice. Scott? Uh, I barely hear him. George, can you hear him? I was hearing him at first, but he faded away. It could be the band WB5TXW. Scott, we have lost you. We heard you come back to us, but we've lost you now. So uh, bring us up to date Saturday morning if you come to breakfast. All right, let me let me. The band could be changing here. WB5L, is that you, Glenn? Yes, sir, Lynn. How are you doing? Good signal. Talk to us. 
Thank you, sir. Uh, KB5LYN, WB5L. I uh, just got in and I'm, I didn't have time to warm up any of the boat anchors. I'm on the flex and using the uh, little Pentec Hercules 2 solid state amplifier at 500 watts. So, and that goes into the same old antenna, I inverted these up there about uh, 50 feet. And the microphone's a PR781. And uh, just want to say hello to everybody. I uh, always enjoy listening to this net. It's one of the best ones on the air, as far as I'm, con uh, I'm concerned. Everybody sounds good. That last station came in strong, and then it just kind of went away, so I don't know. But uh, that's about all I have tonight, Lynn. Thank you much. Everybody uh, is uh, sounding pretty good. WB5L, back to net. Okay, yeah, Glenn, that's a third, several of us heard Scott, and then he just disappeared. We'll uh, we'll maybe catch up with him locally here and find out what happened. Hey, since you're on the flex, how's this signal look, and how am I in terms of frequency? Uh, you sound, I sound pretty close. Uh, uh, perfectly understandable, and uh, as with any boat anchor, it's a little wide, but you know, hey. <laughs> the year 1959 was a little wide, too. Think of the fins. All right. All right, Glenn. Yeah, it, it might be. How, how much upper sideband do you see there? Uh, not as much as on down. Uh, it, it's really cutting it off pretty pretty good, Lynn, and uh, it goes down about five, so. Okay. All right. That's in the ballpark. That's probably consistent with what uh, the rig was designed to do. Okay. All right. Let's see here. Let me talk to my neighbor, then we'll give it to Jay. WB5TXW, what do you say, George? Over to you. George, but yeah, I don't think it's uh, going to be heard very far away. Right, I did hear Scott. I did talk with Barry, believe it or not, before the sun went down. He was on his Atlas 2 10 <laughs> And he was warming up his swan, so maybe we'll hear from him. WB5TX7 back. Do that. Well, let's call him right quick. Uh, hey, Barry, you over there, uh, KF5YMF, how about it, K5LYM? Hey there, Lynn, uh, KF5YMF, uh, do you copy? Oh, sound great. All right, well, uh, glad I could join in here. Yeah, I'm on my Swan 500C early, and i uh, got a dipole up about 35 feet or so. I run it barefoot here. Hey, that radio you got sounds good. I don't know how you uh, mix and match all that stuff. It's really cool. Different brand of VFO and a radio. Uh, I've got a, say that's akin to trying to parallel park a steam tractor, man. I, I couldn't run that thing, but it sounds good. Well, yeah, thanks a lot, Barry. Uh, yeah, well, it's just, uh, it's all part of the adventure, and that Swan is doing a great job. You're, uh, you're, you're right here in the room with me. All right, well, let uh, somebody else have a turn here. Uh, I don't know the band's kind of, kind of slipping away. Uh, KF5YMF, uh, back to net. All right, catch you later. Okay, Mr. J, KM5QS, how about it? K5LYN. Oh, had to pick up the microphone there. Um, <laughs> all right, Lynn, thank you, sir. Tonight, this is J, KM5QS down here in Alice, and uh, tonight I am on a beautiful set of Kenwood 599 Delta Twins. Um, they seem to be working good. I've had them on long enough where they're actually pretty stable. So, uh, according to the uh, external counter, I'm supposed to be real close. So, hope y'all can understand me well. Um, homebrew antenna, speed point about 80 feet in the air now. Just keep getting taller until the thunderstorms come through. Anyway, we won't think about that. 
All right, who's next for the Boat Anchors Unlimited this evening? Come now, please. Whiskey Alpha 5, Edward David X-Ray. All righty, go ahead, Byron. Yeah, good evening, Jay, and everybody else on the net. Uh, glad I could get in here this evening and say hi. Uh, the rain's really coming down on the old barn roof tonight. Uh, of course, I've been misting most of the day, but I think we're going to really get some overnight here. Don't need it right now, but we're going to get it. Maybe my pot will fill up. Uh, rig tonight is a Yazoo FT-101E. Uh, I think I've aligned the transmit frequency to receive, so you might tell me how far off I am from you. Uh, putting out about roughly 100 watts barefoot into an inverted V. Up by 35 feet, and the microphone's an amplified D104. So that's all I know for sure, Jay. Uh, back to you, W85EDX. Okay, Byron. Well, Byron, if I didn't know any better, you could be on an up-to-date uh, transistorized solid-state rig. That's, uh, that's probably the best I've heard you in a while on an old, you know, on an old radio. Uh, not that any of the rest of them sounded bad, but this one sounds right on the money. What, what do you think, Lynn? Lynn, you copy probably me, WA5 ADX? Well, anyway, no, Byron, it sounds great. Well, that's good. I may put this one in the case. Thanks, WA5 EDX. I'm getting tired of working on Yezus. <laughs> That's why I got Ken. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, anyway, <laughs> thanks, thanks, Byron. Hope we're, we're going to see you at Belton, right? Oh, sure. May even come early if I can. Yeah, we're a venison, venison chili on uh, Thursday night. That's the plan, anyway. All right. See you then. Thanks for checking in. Who, uh, who else for the boat anchors unlimited? Come on down. K zero S E D. Go ahead, Steve. Go ahead, Steve. Well, good evening, Jay, and all the boat anchors. K Zero SCD up in Rainy Tyler uh, tonight. I'm on a trusty Kenwood 520, 30.01, a dipole up 40 odd feet, and uh, an MC 50, and that's about it. And I'm off to the Bahamas tomorrow. Yeah, that's what I, that's what you said last week, and you're gonna. You're going to see if you can work some rare DX while you're down there, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, a whole lot of DX. But uh, anyway, I'll try to get back in here next week. Uh, good to hear everybody. Okay, good to hear you, Steve. Um, thanks for checking in. Who's next? May I ask a question, please, Jay? Can you say again? Freddie wanted to know if he could ask a question. Oh, uh, I guess so. Go ahead, Freddie. Okay, he's running a 520 into a 30L1. Uh, how did you set the power back on the 520? Is he using ALC or something? No, I just I just hit it uh, probably with 100 watts. So you're not going to straight with the 520, no ALC or anything? Nope. Freddie, the 301 is designed to take a 100 watt input from the uh, from the uh, S line and uh, KWM two. Okay, so if I ran a 540 into a, a SP two uh, hundred or 201, I'd be okay. You know, that's a whole different amp. I don't know, would you? Yeah, yeah, because those were made for 100 watts too. Yeah, I used to use one with this 520. All right, thank you. That's all I needed to know. I really appreciate it. It always has been worrying me. All righty. Is that all you need, Freddie? That's all. Thank you very much. I'm on a flex, and uh, the oldest thing I got is a, uh, a T1, T1000 Metron and a fan dipole. That's it. Thank you very much. Enjoy the shipwreck group. Uh, I'm sorry, boat anchors. All righty. Okay, who's, uh, let's see, let me catch one or two more, and then I'll send it up to Rusty. Who's next for the boat anchors? Charlie Delta. Well, go ahead. Call me, Jay. 
Yes, sir. I said Charlie Delta. Go ahead. Okay. I didn't hear the Charlie Delta part. I may, I may have my delay set for too long. Anyway, this is Kilo Lima 7 Charlie Delta down here in New Braunfels, Texas, just north of uh, San Antonio, about 15, 20 minutes. And tonight I'm running my Heathkit twins. Oh, I'm running my Helicrafters twins into a uh, uh, Heathkit amplifier, the big green box SB220. And that runs no tuner, by the way. And it runs to a via coax to a dipole up about 25 feet. My uh, microphone is an unamplified D104. And that's about it from here. We're about 45 degrees. Pulled off quite a bit from yesterday. And uh, enjoy hearing everybody's signal. Or everybody's coming in real good tonight. Back to you, Jay, KL7, Charlie Delta. Hey, Jay, can I ask him a question? Yeah, yes, sir, go ahead. Hey, Mike, bring us up to date on the uh, 20A project. Okay, well, I will. I've got two 20As. i got one working. It's uh, One thing I wanted to ask you, Lynn, when they say 20 watts, are they talking input or output? Well, you know, <laughs> I'm not sure. With the higher line voltage, Day, I have seen them put out 20 watts. Mine is not. Mine's putting out about uh, 15. So <laughs> I, I don't. I don't know the answer to the question. Okay. Well, mine's putting out about 12. And if it's 20 watts input, then that would make a, a sense on 12 watts output. But anyway, uh, the problem I got right now is uh, I got this uh, Johnson Viking Thunderbolt. And I was trying to drive that with the uh, with the 20A, and uh, I turned the plate switch on. I got nothing, and I got a blown fuse in the in the Thunderbolt. So the only reason I don't have that 20A on the air. Hey, I've looked at it on the scope. The uh, single sideband signal looks good. Carrier suppression looks good, and so it, it's still a work in progress. But it, it's not a work. Uh, the work doesn't involve the 20A. It involves this big-ass 120-pound amplifier, QSL. That, and that's a handful. <laughs> I share your concern. But you can always put it on sometimes. We'll hear your 20 watts. Thank you for letting me butt in, Jay. Back to you. Okay. All righty. Um, let's see. Okay, who's next for the Boat Anchors Unlimited? HTR. Uh, good evening, Fred. Go right ahead. Yeah, good evening, Jay. Uh, KM52S is in the net, W5HTR. And I'm talking on a, a TR4 and uh, listening on the TR4. Uh, getting a little help from an FL2000B. Uh, I guess they all qualify as boat anchors. And. Uh, I'm, the antenna is an inverted V up about, uh, oh, the apex is maybe 35 feet, 40 feet, something like that. That's that's the rig here, and it looks like I've got a little SWR problem. Uh, I may need to tweak on the tuner here in a bit. Uh, we've had some rain. I imagine that's what the issue is. So anyway, not much to offer otherwise. Other than that, I uh, hopefully will be able to make Belton. Uh, it's not 100% this year, for sure, this time, but uh, I'm, I'm hoping it, it'll work out. So I'm looking forward to seeing you guys, if I do. Uh, KM5QS in the net, W5HTR. Okay, Fred. Yeah, yeah. it's uh, uh, it's coming up about 22 days from now. So uh, anyway, I'm looking forward to it as well. Uh, let me see here. I think I'm going to pass it up to Rusty here in just a second. But before I do, I just want to remind everybody that didn't already know, um, I have two sets of Kenwood Twins for sale. I can bring them to Belton. Uh, the price will be reasonable. Uh, one set is better than the other, and it will, they will be, uh, you know, uh, priced accordingly. Uh, but the, um, uh, anyone that might have an interest in these things, get a hold of me. My email is good on QRZ. 
for uh, well, that's probably the easiest way. Just just email me and and we'll get together on the phone or something and, and figure it out. But uh, they're uh, they're both working. Both transmitters work just fine. Um, one set is an A, the 599As. The other set is the 599Ds. The 599As are late serial number, and they are they are beautiful. No scratches, dings, uh, the glass is good, everything's great. Nice radio, it's really nice. Anyway, if anyone's interested, give me a holler. And uh, uh, also have the speaker and a sure 444 to go with them. But anyway, that being said, enough of the sales pitch. KM5, KM5QS2, WK5R, your turn, Rusty. All right, <laughs> KM5 and uh QSWK54. Good evening, everybody. Name here is Rusty. Um, located up here in northeast Texas, halfway between Dallas and Tyler. I didn't get in in time tonight to get on the boat anchor and the old helicopters that I normally own, but I'm on the 590, and the microphone is an Audio Technica AT2035. It's a condenser type broadcast studio mic, and I'm driving the uh, GS35B amplifier, probably about 900 watts into the fan dipole. With that being said, who else out there wants to check in to the Boat Anchors Unlimited come now? Kilo Charlie 5 Lima. KC5L, go ahead. Oh, good evening, Rusty. Uh, the Boat Anchors Nest. This is Tom, KC5L in San Antonio. And uh, tonight we're on the usual here. Uh, we are talking on a Central Electronics 200B and a uh, E104 microphone. And that's doing about 100 watts into a uh, open wire line fed uh, doublet of about 15 feet. And we're listening on an R398. So uh, that's all we have going on here. So uh, don't have anything else. Go so back to that. All right, Tom. Well, that, the uh, Central Electronics sounds, sounds great as usual. Appreciate you checking in there. All right, who else for the Boat Anchors Unlimited come now? Alpha Delta Charlie. ADC, go ahead. Yeah, good evening, and uh, good evening to everybody on the net. Uh, this is Rick uh, down in Harlingen, Texas, and I'm on the A20 tonight, uh, TL922 amp. Microphone's a Shure 444, and all that ends up in the uh, backyard in a, uh, uh-oh, hold on, something going on here. Great signal here in New Braunfels, about 20 over. Yeah, I, I just turned the amp off for some reason. Something's going on with it. Yeah, I heard it too. Yeah, you were 20 over up here with the amp on. I can still hear you, Rick. Okay. Yeah, there's something. It's uh, The amp is unkeying and keying. Now, I, I just turned it uh, down to low power, so that made a little bit of difference. Yeah, it's still working there. Uh, go ahead. You got anything else for the net? No, that popping cleared up. I don't know what it was, but it's gone now. So it sounded like something arcing. I don't know where, but uh, it's gone now. Now that's it. Roger, Roger. Yeah, that's what it sounded like to me. It sounded like some arcing there. Yeah, hey, Roger, another amp to work on. Right. Who else the motor 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 unlimited come now? Somebody else doing a bunch of mods to it just to cure some of these problems. So uh, I guess this one's next in line. Rusty, I've got a question. Uh, go ahead with your question, Jay. Yeah, uh, Rick, do you know anything about uh, the services or anything for Jim? You know, I just found out about that last night. Uh, I just happened to be listening on, on this frequency. I, it was a surprise to me. Okay. Well, I'll I'll do I'll have to do some checking with somebody, uh, or maybe we'll hear something. Uh, but we were, the question was asked a while ago, and and I didn't have any knowledge either. So. Um, Anyway, thank you. Go back to you, Rusty. All right, Jay. All right, who else for the Boat Anchors Unlimited come now? The band seems to be in great con condition tonight, so uh, one more time. Anybody else want to check into the Boat Anchors Unlimited net come now? K5 Golf India Tango. 
K5GIT, go ahead. Oh, thank you, Rusty. My name is Ron, and I'm here in Kerrville. Thanks for letting me in here. Everybody's got a good signal in here, as long as it's uh, not fading too bad, in and out. But uh, we're running a, a Drake Sea Lion R4C and a T4XC into an SB220 heat kit amplifier. And all that feeds out to a uh, full wave loop out there in the backyard. Thanks. Thanks for letting me in. See ya. Okay. Sounds good from Kerrville down there. Uh, mighty fine. Well, the signals are great tonight. Anybody else for the uh, Boat Acres Unlimited debt? Come now. Anybody anywhere wants to check into the Boat Anchors Unlimited net, you do not have to be on a boat anchor. Just be interested in what we're doing. Anybody else out there come now? Well, I guess I hit the end of my string there, Lynn. K5, L-Y-N, W-K-5-R. Your turn. All right. Am I still on your frequency, Rusty? Yes, sir. Go right ahead. All right. We'll, uh, we'll go for it. This is K5-L-Y-N returning on the... Uh, uh, Collins Heathkit Collins Station here. Hey, let me hit, say hello to Ron, Mr. GIT. Ron, you had a great signal into Austin. And I got more traffic for KL7CD. Mike, are you still there? Sure am. Go ahead, Liam. Hey, I had another thought, you know, that uh, Central Electronics will, if you put it into the amplifier you're on right now, you'll get 150 watts or something like that out. I mean, uh, that'll talk. Yeah, I guess I could do that. I and normally these grounded grid amplifiers, you know, they take a lot more power. Those uh, grid-driven ones, it doesn't take very much to get a kilowatt out of them. Oh, I know. Yeah, that's why I've got two. Uh, <laughs> that's why I've got two novice rigs that I converted to interim amplifiers, like this right here. The uh, 10 watts out of actually it's more like five watts out of the SV10s driving a DX60, which I turned into a linear, and that. That ter drives the Collins 30L1, but but if if I like when I put my 20A directly into a 30L1, I get 150 watts out of something like that. So you know, uh, it'll get you on the air. It's not uh, it's not what the the bigger amplifier will do. I mean, we know two four four hundreds uh, grid driven will talk pretty big, but it's also <laughs> pretty heavy. I always uh, I was afraid of that amplifier because of that. So keep us posted on that. It's a great project. All right, this is K5LYN. Let's hear some check-ins for the boat anchors net. I'm listening. W5TS recheck. Okay, W5 who? Was it again? W5TS recheck. Okay, Scott, talk to us. We lost you a while ago. Well, I bumped my mic game down to zero, so that probably has something to do with it. I'm on a Kenwood 520, and Lynn, I've got a new antenna. If I took your advice and put up a... Kino Sync Mono Band 75 meter dipole. How's it sound on land over? Well, the, the, I'll tell you what, we can hear you now. You know, uh, we don't know what the skip is doing to us. Uh, you're not quite right here in the room with me, but we hear you now. Uh, so it's a, it's a full, it's a regular 75 meter dipole fed with coax or what? Regular 75 meter dipole fed to this frequency, 120 feet exactly, fed with a coax, and that's what I'm using. Oh, yeah, it works. You know, it's hard to beat a, uh, an antenna like that. Get back to the basics, and it'll always work. You got beautiful audio, Scott. Uh, the, work is, uh, the radio's working well. Hey, what are the chances of catching your breakfast Saturday morning? Well, they called me back to work early at the park, so I'm at the park on Saturdays now from, from now on, Lynn. Either the band changed or you hit your audio, uh, you, you hit your mic game knob again. I'm back at the work at the park on Saturdays. I won't be there. I'm at the park, over. Oh, you're working on Saturdays again. Okay, all right. Well, we, we're glad to know you got a handle on that deal. It's working great. Anything else for the net tonight? Nope, that's it. Back to you. Okay, great to uh, great to hear you. By the way, I was summoned through some old uh, vintage magazines that you gave me way back there when we were working on the HC-37, and I was reminded again of the nice note you put in there. But I ran across that today. I still have it. All right, good to hear you, Scott. We'll be in touch. Okay, who else for the boat anchors? K5LYN calling and listening. Whiskey 3, Fox Lima, Papa. Okay, W3FLF uh, or something like Did I get that right? Whiskey 3, 
Foxtrot, Lima, Papa. Okay, Whiskey 3, uh, go ahead and tell us uh, about your station and your name. My name is Lynn, same as the call, over. Roger that, hello Lynn and Nett, uh, first time picking you guys up. I'm running a Kenwood, uh, it's a TS450F, um, just installed uh, a uh, NFED, 49 to 1 NFED, with a uh, 135 foot wire, so um, I'm able to start picking up some extra frequency as long as the bands work out. Hey, I'm super glad you came by to talk to us. Remind me of your location. I forgot. I am from West Tennessee. Uh, say again. She said West Tennessee. West Tennessee. West Tennessee. Okay. Well, thank you very much for coming by. Give me a signal report over there in West Tennessee. Signal report 5959 QSL. All right, all right. We're here every Wednesday, so come by and see us once again. What a pleasure to talk to you. All right, who else for the boat anchors? K5LYN calling and listening. Kilo Echo 5 Quebec. KE5Q, yes, sir. Yeah, good evening, Lynn. Uh, this is Kilo Echo 5 Quebec. Uh, I am uh, not on the uh, transmitters, not a boat anchor, but I am on the uh, Flex uh, uh, 3000, but I'm going into my old SB200 amplifier that I built in college, and believe me, that was a long time ago. But the band sounded really good. Appreciate uh, you guys calling the net. K5LYN, KE5Q. Hey, Jim, uh, there's a ripple on your signal. Uh, do we know that the capacitors are good on that uh, amplifier? You know, I haven't turned this thing on in quite some time, so that could be a problem, over. That's what I'm thinking. It's not a hum, it's a ripple. And I would think that on the high-level RF might be the case, so uh, take a look at that. It almost sounds like motorboating like a power supply problem. That's what I'm thinking, too. Okay. Ripple. All right. Well, I appreciate it. That's a good thing about checking into the boat anchor's net and, and running something you hadn't run in, in probably two years. Uh, so I will check that out. KE5Q. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty pronounced. <laughs> okay. Very good, Jim. Good to hear you. Who else for the boat anchors? K5LYN calling and listening. Okay. Now, we've already had Tennessee. Where's Alabama? Louisiana. Uh, how about uh, New York City? We had somebody from New York one time. Let's hear you guys. K5LYN listening. Well, maybe that's it. Jay, you want to give it a try? All righty. Um, um, by the way, what was the, what was the young lady's call in Tennessee? You know, I talked to her last night. It's W5L. Ask her again. I, I, she took a dip, right, and I forgot what it was. It's Whiskey 3, Foxtrot Lima Papa. Okay. Um, yeah, I missed the last one already. I'll just, you know, for my copies are correct. Yeah, I'm further north than y'all are. So I can hear her fine. All right. Good deal. Okay, folks. So, uh, we're looking for check-ins for the Boat Anchors Unlimited net. If uh, you qualify or if you don't, if you're interested in what we're doing or you just want to check in, come on down. Surely five after. Uh, come again with your call sign and go ahead. Yeah, Alpha Surely five after. All righty, go ahead, sir. Yeah, I'm in Louisiana, and name is Jeff. Uh, I'm not talking on a boat anchor. <laughs> I'm talking on an Aircraft T3. And uh, just as passing by, I decided to check in and say hi. Over. Well, thanks for dropping by. And we're uh, we're all exercising our old stuff, but uh, everybody's welcome to drop in. So thanks for checking in, sir. Yeah, what's your call? Oh, my call is Kilo Mike Five Quebec Sierra. The name is Jay Juliet Alpha Yankee, and I'm in Alice, Texas. Roger. Yeah, good to hear you, Jay. Say hello to everybody. Jay, got a comment? Go ahead. Yeah, W3FLP was Leslie, and I mixed her up with somebody else I talked to last night, but that's her name. Okay, cool. Well, I, you know, I try to write a few things down, and, and sometimes I'm even accurate, so it, <laughs> a little bit helps. <laughs> All right, who else for the voter anchors on Come on now. 
Comet WA5EDX. Go ahead, Byron. It's more of a question than a comment. Uh, I haven't heard uh, Joseph E I J in here since. So I don't know. Long way before Christmas. Anybody know where he's at? Or what he's up to? Comment. Go ahead. Yeah, Nick and I have been in touch with him. He's busy with a, a number of uh, projects he's got there in the Houston area. He's a property owner, and uh, we have uh, told him he needs to get with us. But but I think he's pretty busy. Well, that's the wrong thing to do at our age. Uh, you don't need to be that busy that he can't get on the darn boat anchor net once a week. Don't you agree? Uh, yes, thanks I for the input. I thought it was something like that. Yes, we've told him that. Well, with any luck, he'll. Uh, it's real hard for him and Janet to stay away from Belton, so maybe we'll get to see him there. Well, I don't think he was there last October, was he? Yeah, he was. Uh, yeah, I believe he was. Oh, yes, he was. WB5KXW Well, he must have been there one day and came and went uh, in a breeze. Uh, I never saw him. So, okay. Okay, Doke. I mean, he just must have stayed at the barbecue pit. Pretty much. And do uh, you have something to say, George? Negative, Jay. It's up to you. And, uh... Saw Joseph up there. Last health and last power, and uh, he was looking healthy. Well, that's good. Okay. Very good. Speaking of which, uh, since uh, nobody else checked in for a second or two, and you, the subject of Belton came up. Um, we're looking forward to seeing everybody there in about 22 days. We will be doing a bunch of cooking, and uh, everybody's always welcome. Y'all know that. So uh, come on down and bring something for us to burn, and uh, like that. All that being said, anybody else want to check in to the Boat Anchors Unlimited before I send it back to Rusty? I recheck WD-586. Go ahead, Rick. Okay, uh, everything is the same here. I'm going to see if it does it again. I retune the amp. Uh, uh, I'm going through the tuner this time. And uh, actually, what seemed to make the difference is when I retune the, uh, the radio. I don't know why. It may have been generating some parasitics, but my God, it drives the socks up there and went. Okay. It's something heating up in the antenna, apparently, because it's not doing it on any other radio. Well, if you were, if you had a uh, a standard wave problem between the radio and the amp, the, the backup could have caused some kind of RF or something. Yeah, whatever it is. Um, okay, I'll go back down to low power there. No reason to run high power. Whatever it is, it uh, it seems to take a little bit to fail. So it's it's on the other side of the tuner because it's fine into the dummy load and. Um, uh, the dummy load uh, is just a different position on the on the tuner. So, oh well. <laughs> okay. Well, you know, if if we never had something uh, go a little sideways, we'd never earn anything, right? Yeah. Well, I'm fixing to change this antenna out anyway, so <laughs> it's just another something else to do. I understand. I had my tower up and down twice last week, and I'm I'm resting for a while, so <laughs> still I can do it again. Anyway, uh, okay, Rick, anything else? No, uh, thank you. Sure, no problem. All right, uh, Rusty, why don't you see what you can round up? KM5QS to WK5R. KM5QS to WK5R. Well, mighty fine there, and uh, by the way, maybe I can... Uh, make it to uh, Belton this time without breaking down or having to thumb a ride. <laughs> oh, maybe everything will work out. It looks like uh, looks like things are going to fall through for me going to Orange. I don't look like I'm going to make it because my, my uh, income tax has not come in yet, so I don't have enough money for the gas or the motel room to, to get there. So I guess I'm going to have to pass that one by. be the first one of those I've missed in quite a few years. So anyway... This is WK5R. Who else out there for the Bone Anchors Unlimited? Come now. 
Kilo Golf 5, Romeo Echo, November, Cliff Movers. Yeah, go ahead, Cliff. Oh, we just uh, checking in there. I don't know if I'm going to make it to Bells and Easers this year. I may have family coming down from Denver, but uh, <laughs> uh, I think we've bought enough used equipment here. At least we're getting out. I just wanted to get in on the boat anchor. Although we're not running the boat anchor tonight, we're running that 430S that we picked up. So I just, uh, I've been enjoying playing with it. But I got the uh, FT 101 double E sitting underneath us there. Over. Roger, Roger, Clint. Well, it, that 430 sounds sounds really good there. Roger, Roger. Well, we're running it on the DXA 88, so that, that's uh, not even on the uh, double bazooka, but we did buy that off. <laughs> Bad about fine, but, you know, being a truck driver, i got to snag what I can there. Over. Roger, Roger. I do understand that. Uh, several of us on here could... Uh, be familiar with that. <laughs> anyway, uh, appreciate you checking in there, Cliff, and we'll catch you next time. Anything else for the net? No, just hoping Mr. Driscoll finally gets my AL80 back <laughs> up and running for me so I can put it in line. We're running barefoot right now, but anyway, still doing a good job. So, Hey, just sitting back listening and enjoying, man. If I make it, I'll see you all up there at the barbecue pit. And uh, if not, well, my uh, thoughts will be with y'all. This is K -K Kilowatt Golf 5, Romeo Echo, November. We'll be clear this minute. All right, we appreciate you checking in there. And, uh, yeah, you're running about 5 over 9, so <laughs> don't really even need to amp right now. Next 10 minutes, the band might go south, but who knows. I probably shouldn't have said that. But anyway, who else for the Boat Anchors Unlimited come now? Anybody else for the Boat Anchors Unlimited net come now? Well, we may have worked them all out there, Lynn. Uh, K5LYN, WK5R, I guess it's your turn. Well, we were overdue, Rusty, for some good propagation. Uh, am I still on your frequency? Yeah, you're even better now than you was. <laughs> well, I, I w I'd like to say practice makes perfect, but uh, the the age of the equipment makes that uh, difficult to make it come true. All right, uh, it has been great, uh, Net, tonight. Let's see who else we can hear out there. Who wants to talk uh, vintage radio tonight? This is K5LYN, Lynn and Austin. Who's out there? Well, we might have covered the territory. I haven't heard KB0UOZ. Perry, Perry, where are you tonight? Usually we hear Perry in Missouri really well. All right, this is the last call on my end. If I don't uh, uh, hear anybody come back to me, I'm going to pass it on around the table so everybody else can uh, make a final call. And we'll call it a night. Any final check-in for me, K5LYN, calling and listening. I think uh, that's the first knot of tying the ribbons. Uh, uh, Jay, over to you. All righty, Lynn. Thank you, sir. It has been good. We've had uh, counting net controls. We've had 22 people on here tonight. So that's not too shabby. It's bad. The conditions have, have stayed in pretty good. Um, the final thoughts. Let's say a kind word for WJ5MS, and may he be... 30 minutes in heaven for the devil knows he's dead. Um, good night, everyone. Thanks for checking in. And uh, we'll see you next week. And we'll see you at Belton. KM5 QS73. To you, Rusty. All right, Jay. Yeah, we thank all y'all for checking in. Because uh, if it wasn't for y'all, we couldn't do this. So with that, I'll say thank you to everybody that checked in. And we'll see y'all next week. This is WK5R. Now, closing the, the uh, Boat Anchors Unlimited net and returning the frequency of normal amateur abuse. I almost forgot where it was. I believe this is the best band conditions we've had in quite a while, Jay. Oh, I know it. I know it, and the twins have been excellent this evening. I don't know. I haven't had any adjacent channel problem or anything. I've got, I'm just tickled. 
<laughs> I didn't realize you were on the twins tonight. Yeah, they, I love these radios. They they work really well. Of course, putting them through the alpha don't hurt none. Uh, no, it don't hurt a bit. There will be some for sale at Belton unless somebody comes and gets them first. Roger, roger. Yeah, I got two more days. <laughs> I'm running out of time to get a to get a reservation for a motel down at Orange, so I'm, it really looks like I'm going to miss that one. I've always kind of had a hankering to go up there, but I've never been able to make it myself, so... I I know it's a good one. Everybody says so. Yeah, it's the first one I've missed in I don't know how many years. I've been going every year for a long time. That's where I met Dan at uh, the first time about 20 or 25 years ago, uh, Jay. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's that. Uh... Oh, uh, Lynn, are you still there? Yeah, still here. Okay. Uh, well, it has been a good net tonight. If I hear anything or find anything out, I'll either send you an email or get a hold of you or something about Jim. The email works fine, Jay. Yeah, we'll miss him. He was he was here from the beginning. Yeah, yeah, he was, and he he always had a uh, he always had something relevant to say, even if he was even if he was in the middle of the joke with us, Roger. Do we have any idea if he had family? I know he had a sister because uh, his sister is the one that found him when he was uh, had to be taken to the hospital, and uh, that's all I know. Okay, all right. Well, we'll all get there someday, um, so we just uh, have to keep that in mind, keep it in the right perspective, and know that he's in a better place. Oh, I'm sure of that. Who are you sure guys talking he about? Was, uh, he was a, he was a good guy. I met him a couple of times in South Florida, uh, uh for you know just one thing and another. But uh, talked to him a lot. So anyway, gonna miss him. Who are you guys talking about? WJ5MS um, Jim Scribner in Harlingen. Okay, I I don't recognize the caller or the name. This is W5HTR. Oh, okay, Fred. Uh, he's he's been around for a while. He just he's been down there. Uh, um, well, I don't know how long, but we he's been with us on the boat anchors net almost since we started, I believe. Now we used to call him Far Away Jim. Okay, no, I don't recognize it, uh, but I'm sorry to hear about it. Well, he had a, if I'm not mistaken, uh, I think he had a problem with something like mesothelioma from asbestos exposure or something like that and uh this last go round he they took him in and they had to remove one lung completely and then he was in ICU for almost a week and uh, until he finally gave up oh gosh that's one of the things I'm so religious about, well, I use the term religious advisedly, but uh, about going to Belton about, because uh, you never know who you're not going to hear from next week. Boy, that's the truth. I've got a good friend up here who had a stroke about uh, three weeks ago, and he's just been laying there with tubes in him. Uh, that status quo of waiting for something to happen one way or the other. Yeah, that's that's not pleasant. We had to we've been that through that a couple of times. But uh anyway, what's what's gonna be will be. Well I'm glad I was able to check in tonight for a change. I haven't been been uh, able to do that. It seems like I'll either fall asleep and miss it or be off somewhere. Well, the band hadn't been cooperating very much for the last uh, several months. Uh, it's it's been kind of hit and miss, but tonight it was pretty good. Yeah, I believe I heard everybody that was talking uh, 
from the time I checked in till now. I heard everybody really well, or pretty pretty well, except for that gal in Tennessee, uh, Leslie over there. But uh, I heard most of it, so it's that that wasn't bad at all. So even though the band stretched a little bit, it still uh, still stayed pretty good. So anyway, that's pretty cool. I better go check with Mama. I got something I'm supposed to do for her. So I'll see y'all in a little bit. KM5 QS. 